A diet grinder is a very useful piece of kit. These are not very common because they are expensive and they are not used all that often. A normal angle grinder is used all the time. You can use it on steel, you can use it on flat pieces. The beauty of this is you can get it in places where you can't get a normal angle grinder. These machines are not very common, but you see them quite a lot in industry. A lot of uh, mechanics use them, a lot of engineers use them. In the end there, you can put a rotary file or you can put a stone like that, that is a grinding stone. So you can grind in places that you can't get to with a normal angle grinder with this machine. Before you use a machine like this, I would highly recommend a pair of safety glasses. I'd also recommend some ear protection and also a full face visor. The collet on the end of the machine is six millimeters, so you can use any six millimeter tools in the end of this, as long as they are the correct speed rating for the machine. You always need to check the speed rating. You'll also notice that you can use rotary files in this machine. You can use them on most metals, but you can't use them on iron and steel. They will just chip away and disintegrate because they are not hard enough for that task. The reason why I'm showing you this is because I've got an ASP, which is used with a padlock. And the actual hole that goes through the center of there isn't quite large enough for the padlock that I have bought. Now the problem is that I have about 10 padlocks that are all keyed alike, so one key fits them all. So I want to use the same lock on everything. So I need to enlarge that hole. And that hole is actually iron steel. If that was regular steel, I could quite simply drill that out with a bigger drill, no problem. As most people will know, you cannot drill iron steel. So that will mean that I'm going to have to grind it out. So I'm going to grind it out using the die grinder. That will enlarge the hole in there, large enough for me to get the padlock through. As well as grinding attachments, you can also get polishing attachments like that, which are very good for polishing. And you can also get pneumatic versions. The pneumatic versions are useful in areas where you're not allowed to take electric tools. And they are quite a lot smaller than the electric version, as you can see. So the die grinder is a very useful tool to have in your workshop. And it can do quite a few things that other tools can't actually do.